why Andy Elliott, a car sales trainer, is the best example of everything wrong with the car business. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, here today with amazing Elizabeth, the homework gal. Andy Elliott and his Elliott group are founded on a cloud of suspicion for fraud, lies, deceit, and some of the worst actions ever perpetrated in the car business. You know, it's actually hard to believe, Liz. There are still some dealers out there who think it's appropriate to hire this clown to train their sales staff. Right. The only thing that Andy knows how to do is lie, cheat, deceive, bribe, and engage in illegal activity. And he actually refers to his process as world-class customer service. What a joke. Any dealer who wants to hire him should be under immediate suspicion by the state attorney general's office. They should be investigated. It's pure insanity that any dealer would want their sales staff to be trained by this thug. To prove to our viewers or any dealer out there that nothing we are saying about Andy Elliott today is made up, we will post the court documents containing his own confession under oath on our website, thehomeworkguy.com. Check it out for yourself. It's totally mind-boggling. Andy just barely dodged that conviction to land him in federal prison, and he only managed to do that by agreeing to rat out his co-conspirators, his buddies, who were the other owners at Big Red Dealership. When we ran the show talking about dealer owners going to federal prison, the bulk of that show was actually about their general manager, none other than the car sales trainer known as Andy Elliott. That was this show here. Jury convicts dealership owners sending them to federal prison. The admissions he made under oath in court, which we shared a lot of it in that show, yeah. are some of the most egregious crimes committed by anyone working in a car dealership. Bribery of a loan officer with envelopes of cash at a Bible class meeting of all places. A total disgrace. Kevin, it's funny how when you first saw his claims online about making five hundred to 750000 a year as a car salesman, you immediately called BS on that. You remember that? BS, yes. He uses that lie to convince current car salesmen that he's the go-to person for sales training if they want to get rich selling cars. It's a farce and a huge lie. In his court testimony, he admits he was actually the general manager of big red dealerships, not a salesman, and he was being paid a six-figure salary, something no car salesman will ever get. Never. And on top of that, he earned a profit-sharing check because he was a 5% owner. He should be in federal prison with the rest of them. We just published a show the other day about the hate in the car business. Yeah. Funny that one viewer, Chuck Stafford, said, I just think you all missed the opportunity to identify reasons in your video for such vitriol car buyers have for dealerships. <laughs> I really do think this has done far more damage to the dealership model than they realize. I sincerely wish customers have a long memory here. There are good ones out there, but they are relatively silent in the industry. Here again, I hope your efforts to partner with good dealerships works, as, as do we, Chuck. Yes. Fair enough, Chuck, and thanks for the comments. We didn't get really deep into the subject in part because I really don't like talking about hatred all that much. So let me say something about hate that applies to this show about Andy Elliott. The attitude Andy has towards clients he can't get done or approved is the same as the attitude he has shown towards any other people who don't agree with him on his sales techniques. He made this classless comment on Facebook directed towards somebody named Jake Bishop. I want to know why you're such a little biatch. I see you skinny scrawny ass hating on badasses on social media who are doing big shit. Stop being such a little weak ass man. You're effing embarrassing yourself. I looked at your profile and you look like a fag. I feel sorry for you. Being a loser must really suck. Andy Elliott, you wouldn't know what it means to feel sorry for another human being, Not actually. At all. You also don't know what being a loser feels like because you're so numb after all the corruption you've engaged in. You still have the audacity to think of yourself as a winner. You, Andy, are the biggest loser we've ever seen or heard about in the car business. When you get to the bottom of the barrel of crooked dealer conduct, you have to keep digging beneath the barrel to find the depth of character Andy Elliott has. If people do really feel hatred towards car dealers, Andy Elliott, you are the best example of why that is. On their worst day, the worst car dealer on the planet cannot come close to the level of corruption you've engaged in. You know something, Andy? I'd love to hear you admit on one of your sales training videos that your experience selling cars only enables you to teach others how to make a six-figure income by committing bank fraud, engaging in bribery, laundering fake money. Remember King Cash, Andy? Have you forgotten about pushing a pawn shop idea to fake customer down payments and then coaching them on lying to the bank? That's what you know, and that's the only thing you have any credibility to teach. I can see the title now, How to Be a Career Criminal by Andy Elliott. Or, How to Be a Totally Classless Human Being by Andy Elliott. Right. 
Any dealer thinking about hiring this thug should just ask themselves one question. Have I ever known of a single car salesman ever earning 700000 a year in commissions? The obvious answer is no zip zero nada. Nobody, not even Andy Elliott. Here's the follow-up question a dealer should ask when he hits on them saying, since you sold so many cars, Andy, and you say it was based on world-class customer service, can you give me a list of past car buyers who are part of your raving fan club? You have one, don't you, with all that many past customers? There won't be any raving fans because the only way he sold them was to commit fraud and his greed to make as much money as possible drove him to gouge them worse than they ever could have imagined. I guarantee there are still people financially underwater who he sold a car to. If you want to talk about a mountain of unfortunate screwed customers left in his wake, that's what that is. To Chuck Stafford's point, we needed an example of why there's so much hate in the car business. Andy Elliott, you and your sales techniques provide the best example we can think of as to why people say they hate car dealers. Well, friends, the good news is, is that soon enough, you won't have to deal with somebody like Andy Elliott or somebody trained to behave like him. You'll be able to avoid the bad dealer hassles because, as we've been saying in recent shows, we are just mere days away from launching our first homework guy assisted hassle free new car buying process. And it is most likely to start with Toyota in the state of Florida. California is also an early state likely to go live, too. We are super excited to be sharing this with you today. If you jumped on our notification wait list early, don't be surprised when I call you and say, hello, my friend, this is the homework guy. We're ready to help you buy a new car. Yeah. By the way, if you're new here to the homework guy channel, the hassle-free new car buying process Liz just mentioned, it's not too late to get yourself on the list. Find the link in that description box down below or visit our website, thehomeworkguy.com to find it. As always, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications and give this video a like if you appreciate what we do here for you. Right here, courtesy of the Homework Guy team in our show, is where you'll always find the most dependable tips and helpful information to assist you with finding an enjoyable car buying experience in today's car market. And we so appreciate the trust and confidence that thousands of you have shown us by getting on the notification list for our new hassle-free car buyers list. It's going to be awesome when it launches, and that date is just around the corner. Find the link below the video, also on our website, thehomeworkguy.com. By the way, to any dealers out there, we personally know some good car sales trainers who actually do understand good customer service. Yep. So if you'd like a referral to one, email us at kevinthehomeworkguy at gmail.com or shoot us a text to 701-441-3399. We'll give you somebody that we approve of to train your sales staff. If you're new here, we invite you to join our ginormous YouTube family. If you've just recently joined us as a subscriber, we thank you, appreciate you, and welcome you aboard. Also, thanks again to our many faithful followers who just keep coming back. And to all of our faithful subscribers out there, you guys rock. God bless you all. I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy, signing off with Amazing Elizabeth, the Homework Gal. The Homework Guy team is serving truth and justice in the car business and always will. We, we gotta, gotta go. go.